All right, y'all. What's going on? What's going on? Lockout Men back again with another podcast interview for today. I'm glad that you guys be uh, watching, listening. Thank you. Thank you. You know, if you like content like this, you know what to do. Subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Make sure you hit that all button so you can get all the content you need. Well, in today's interview, I have a young lady. Yes, she is young. She might be old, but I consider her a young lady. I consider all ladies young, you know, no matter how old they are. She's a two-year driver. Not only that, but she's a mother, a wife, and she's a grandmother. We're going to talk about all those characteristics that she's posing right now, as in as she's driving. Uh, we want to bring, I want to bring my special guest today to the stage. She goes by the tag name OTR Diva. What's going on there, little lady? Ten much. All right, OTR Diva. You know, it, it seems as though that for all female truck drivers that has been driving that I came across, all you guys like to use the word diva. Do you know where diva originally originated from? No. You don't know where diva originated from, but you like using it, though. Where did where where, where, where where did you where where did you come up with OTR Diva? What what was what was what was that the bring that whole name together? Well, I am a diva in myself. Mm -hmm. uh, when I dress up and you know looking the part, and I was like, well, you know, I'm going over the road, so you know, I just OTR Diva. OTR Diva. Well, you know the name. Well, it, from from what I have gathered, now it may be true and it may not be true. I don't know, but from what I gathered, the name originated from Diana Ross because of her attitude. You know what I'm saying? She was like, mm -hmm. you know, before she goes on stage and and knock it out the park. But while she was backstage, she was always the type to, you know. Like she wants everything done her way and everybody was just started to call her. Well, she's a little diva over here. She has to have everything done her way and, and it can't be none. It can't be done no other way. So, but then I started to see that a lot of females that start taking that name. Like, like, for example, it's a young lady named truck driving diva. Then there's trucker diva and then diva this and diva that and i'm like oh okay well yo, you you must want things done your way it has to it has to be your way and not or not at all is 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 it like that with you um pretty much at my house yeah <laughs> on the road, I can't get it like that. Oh, uh, you say you can <laughs> you, you can get it like that at the house, but you can't get it like that on the road, huh? No. <laughs> All right, Miss OTR Diva, go ahead and uh, well, go ahead and uh, let everybody know who you who you are and where you come from. Um, my name is OTR Diva. I am from uh, Florida, originally from Virginia, but I live in Florida right now. Okay. And oh, you kind of got stuck there. That's that's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like a you... mother, a wife, and all that. So you know. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's like you got brain freeze there for a minute. Like, wait, is there something else I'm supposed to say? Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 All right. So. So let's start up. Let's let's start up in Virginia. Was you born and raised up in Virginia? Yes. So how was it? How how was life like growing up up in Virginia? Uh, it was a little rough, but you know, I was able to graduate, manage, and you know, 
lived there, raised my kids, and move away. Okay, okay. What brought you down? What what brought you down to the sunny state of Florida? Um, I wanted to change. Then, um, my second marriage, I married my husband in Florida, and that was my first time there in Florida, and I just fell in love with the state. Oh, okay, okay. So you met your 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 husband. He's he's a truck driver too, or you you y'all just cordially met off the internet, or how, how did y'all how did y'all come to meet? Uh, we met through a mutual friend. Um, he used to be a truck driver before we met. Um, so, yeah. So he and he lived in Virginia. He was born and raised in Virginia as well. And we both just decided we needed a change. Oh, so, okay. So y'all got so where where wait where did you get married at? You got married in Florida or you got married in Virginia? In Florida. Oh, but y'all met in Virginia though. Yeah. Oh, okay. How long was y'all together before y'all decided to tie the knot? Five years. Oh, five years. All yeah. right. So, okay. So for a part, let me ask you this right quick. All right. So you, you was married before, right? Before. Yeah. Okay. So this is your second marriage. You mind if I ask you what, what was the deterioration of the first one? What what led to divorce? Uh, infidelity. How, let me ask you this: How many times? Because if he only did it once, is it possible to have forgive him for that? Uh, he did it more than once. The first time was like okay, but it was more than once um, when he did it and he had a baby. Oh, he had a oh okay. Oh. He had he he yeah. wait he had a baby out of red. Look, out of wedlock. He, yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Now that's okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably can be for a woman unforgivable. If you know, maybe if he did it like once, maybe twice, but then have a baby out. I mean, have a baby outside of that. How did you? Yeah. How did you feel? When when you find out, did he did he just come out right and told you, or you you found out through other means? Um, he didn't come right out and tell me. Uh, she told me first. It was more like you know it was a little game. She was like, "Oh no, I'm not pregnant by him." And then her friends were like, "Oh, you know, you might want to ask her who her baby daddy is and count up the months and everything like that." Wait, and, so so this was like y'all was friends? I mean, you knew her. Like knew her. Yeah, I knew her. Yeah. Wait, you like knew her? Like call her up on the phone, type knowing her. Yeah. Oh my god. So th- th- this man, this this man, all the way, all, all the way wrong, all the way wrong. You. Number one, he 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 did that to you, and he did it to you with somebody you know. Yeah, he actually he introduced me to this person. He known this person longer than I did, but yeah. Oh my god! And we became friends. You, you know, something like that, you know, almost happened to me. Now I I wasn't I, I wasn't infidel with with the female, but. You know, uh, me and this young lady, we used to work at a at a retail store way back in the day. And, you know, we we kind of got, you know, we kind of got on the friend side, you know what I'm saying? Slapping hands and all like that. And then, you know, I, I, I introduced her to my wife and everything. And, you know, we started going out. You know, she started being the third wheel and all like that. And then, you know, all of a sudden, the, the friendship between me and her sort of kind of like, sort of kind of like got deteriorated a little bit. And then she trying to make it like I was cheating on her. I mean, cheating with her to my wife. And I was like, no, 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 that's, 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 no, nah, that's, that's not going on. That's not going on like that. You know, we tried, we introduced her to her, to the guy that we come to find out that she that that she got married to him like maybe a 
two, three weeks, four weeks later or some shit like that. I don't know if she got married to him, but we knew for a fact that she moved in with him like two, three weeks later. And I guess what she was trying to do was like kind of like get him upset with me or some shit like that. And I, I wasn't going to let that happen. But but yeah, yeah, always be wary of of another lady, you know, especially if they being introduced by your husband, you know. I, I, I learned my lesson. <laughs> lesson learned. Right. <laughs> um all right, so so you moved down to, so what so so what got you so what got you down to Florida? I mean what what was so enticing about Florida that you that that other than the getaway part, you know, uh what else enticed you to move down to Florida? Um, I guess more or less sunshine, palm trees. What? You know. Okay. You, you, That's about it. You, so I just You know as a truck driver there's not much uh there's not much freight coming out of Florida. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh as as That's why I do home time in, in Virginia and in Florida. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you try to uh you try to switch it up. <laughs> the company uh the, yeah. the the company that you drive for uh did they did did they they hired you out of Florida. They they uh they was hiring because a lot of yeah. companies don't hire out of Florida either. Yeah, they hired me out of Florida. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, All right. So uh so how is it like so how is it like being uh uh a truck driver, a mother, a wife, and now you're a grandmother? How how does it how does it feel uh being there? How how's your family taking you driving? And everything. Um, they're very supportive in me um, driving um, trucks. Um, basically, my kids are grown except for one. I just adopted since I've been on the road, um, and he's always asking me to come home. Okay. Um, but I video chat with him as much as I possibly can and play games with him on on uh, video chat. So this your and, this, this your uh, this your grandson you talking about? Yeah, I I adopted my grandson. Oh, you adopted your grandson? Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So you are able so. And actually, oh, go ahead. Yeah, so actually, so actually, I adopted him. Um, I want to say, what was it? I just finished up my training with Stephen. I finished my 240 hours. Okay. okay. And I adopted him. Oh, okay, okay. That's so nice. All right. So how how old is he? How old is your grandson? He's five years old. Okay. All right. So your so your grandson is your daughter, your daughter's son, your son's son, uh, your son's son, or my daughter's son. Your daughter's son. Um, what was? Yeah. I don't want to pry too much, but what was the reason why you you was able to adopt him from your from your daughter? Uh, my daughter wasn't getting herself together. Oh, okay. She was just uh, in and out of prison and stuff, so she wasn't getting herself together. All right is is there an opportunity for is there an opportunity for you uh, you and your daughter? Uh, for your daughter to to get her son back, you know, when she get her stuff together, or your grandson is pretty much okay with with you being the alternative mother. He doesn't know his mother. Uh, I am the only mother figure he's had. Oh, okay, okay. So when you, how 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 does that play when when your daughter comes around? I mean, when she when she comes around him, I mean. What, how, how you play that as you know, this being his sister, or relative, or something like that? We just say sister because she's like you know she just call herself sister to him. But I've had him since he's two weeks old, oh. so he doesn't even know who she is. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, in the future, when he grows up, will will you be able to will you be able to let him know? Uh, or you just want him to 
being that he's five years old, of course, he's not going to understand none of that. Hold on one minute. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So, yeah, did you did you hear the question that I asked? No, I didn't. Uh, Cause he was asking the question the same time. Okay, 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 okay. No, I was asking, uh, you know, being that you know your grandkid is five years old, and of course he's not going to understand none of that stuff. But you know, as he grow older, uh, will you will you eventually come around and and let him know that you know his mother is his daughter? I mean, is your daughter? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, cool, awesome. So your grandkid stays with you. He, you trying to try to face how? How do you think he feel uh, when when you leave and when you come home? Um, when I come home, he's happy to see me. Uh, when I leave, he doesn't even know that I'm left because I leave when he sleeps. Oh, okay. You don't want him to be upset or something like that or cry. You don't want to yeah. see him crying or something like that. Uh, that's right. That's, so I just leave when he sleeps. That's so that's so sweet. <laughs> that's so sweet. You don't want him to cry or nothing like that. Then when he wakes up, he'll be like, yo, where, where's Nana? Nana? Where, where Nana? That you hit that video phone yeah. on him and all like that, like yo, I'm in the truck. Have you ever brought him? Have you ever brought him with you on the truck? H has he ever, ever been on the truck with you? He he's been in the truck. He hasn't been on the road with me because with Stevens, their policy, uh, he cannot be on the truck with me. Oh, okay. Because he's too young. Okay, okay. All right. So let's get into uh let's get into the truck driving field. Uh where where did you where did you go to get your, your CDLs? You did you did you uh go to school or you went to went to a trucking went to a trucking company and get your license? How how did you get your license? Um, I contacted Steven. Steven sent me to a trucking school in Tampa, Florida. Um, and I went there, did three weeks there. Oh, okay, and you and you managed to get your license through there. Did, who did Stevens? Did Stevens pay for it, or 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 you pay for it? Uh, they we paid it together. It was like a a contract between me and Stevens. Uh, they put down the deposit, and their contract was. Uh, I didn't have to pay the dep the deposit if I stayed with them for six months. So I stayed with them for six months. And then after the six months, uh, they paid a portion and I paid my portion to pay it off, pay my tuition off. Oh, okay. So in the, so I guess what Stevens is doing, they're they're not they're not paying the full thing. They only just paying half a thing. But it's are you still under contract with them to to work? No. Oh, okay. So you could pretty so if you decide to leave are you still with Stevens? Yes, I'm still with Stevens. All right. So if you decide to leave Stevens, you you won't be obligated. They they won't do nothing to to hinder you to get a to to go with another company. No. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right. So so Stevens Transport. You what what made you what what made you call? Is was there any other companies that you was thinking about uh, before you chose Stevens? Um, I was also looking at Prime as well. I had a friend that went to Prime, mm -hmm. so I was looking at Prime just as well. It was just just Stevens and Prime because I had one friend that was that worked that used to work for Prime, and I had one friend that used to work for Stevens. All right, so you got Stevens, you got Prime on one hand, and you got Stevens on the other hand. Obviously, Stevens won out. But what was, did you, did you call Prime? Did you see if you could get into Prime? Did, did Prime reject you? What, what was the conversation there? Um, I called Prime, talked to Prime. Um, only thing there was, I would have to go to Missouri to go to school. And um, during the, I think it was like during the cold months or something. I just didn't want to be a, too far away from home while I was going to school. Oh, okay. And Stevens offered a school closest to me in my state. 
and where on the weekends I went home. Oh, okay, okay. So Stevens has a so Stevens has a school in Florida, and you was able to uh, instead of just staying there for the you know for the duration, you was just you know on the weekend you was able to go home and be with your family still. <clears throat> right. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, Springfield, Missouri. Yeah, that that would be uh would be a little hump. <laughs> We'll be a little. Yeah. Um, all right. So you uh, so you got through. So you got through. You got your license. What was what was the what was the thing that what was the thing that most interests you to get into trucking? I mean, what what was there any inspiration to to get into trucking? Well, what made me get into it was the simple fact I used to work for the United States Post Office. I used to be a rural carrier associate. Um, basically what I would do is the regular will have a day off. I will work their schedule day off. And at the post office I was working at, it was two hours away from my house. Um, so basically I would be up early in the morning driving and by the time I get home is at night. Uh, how long you was doing and I'm that like, for? Well, all this driving that I'm six months. Okay. And I was like, all this driving that I'm doing, you know, I can make a living driving. Mm -hmm. And then I contemplated more. They got me another post office where I was working during the week versus my two days at the original post office. And I was like, it's still too much driving. Driving to deliver the mail from the post office, then, you know, driving to get to the post office, then driving to deliver the mail, then driving back to the post office when I'm done and driving home. I'm like, I can do this. I can drive truck. Was you able to make more money? Was you able to keep? Was you able to drive the, the the little postal carrier car home? No. Okay. It, at least they would have. So the post office I worked at, yeah, the post office I worked at, I had to use my own vehicle. What use your own vehicle to deliver the mail to, or just use your vehicle to get there? Yeah. Use my vehicle to deliver the mail to. Oh, okay, they. Uh, did they offer you more, uh, more money to do that? How no. how did that work? Well, the only thing only thing they did was pay for the fuel. That's it. They pay for the fuel, but not the miles. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be a negative. <laughs> you you're gonna have to at least pay me for the miles. The fuel I can get myself. I mean. You you putting how many how many miles a day that you putting on your on your vehicle? Well, where I was delivering, I think it was like fifty miles. I was going to deliver mail. So that's fifty miles total a day. Yeah. So that's about two hundred and fifty miles a week that you're not getting paid for. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's crazy, right there. Uh, how did you ma how how did you come across getting into the uh, postal service? Did you have to take a did you have to take a a civil service exam or something like that, or you just filled out an application? And they just hired you on in. Uh, you had to do an exam. Oh, okay, yeah, because to get on at the post office. You know, back in the day, they say post office was the was the was the biggest thing. If you get in the post office, you're golden. And you always have to take a right. you, you had to take a civil service exam. But in your case, in your case, you you didn't feel golden about working for the post office. No. Oh, okay. I had friends telling me, "Oh, let the money motivate you. Let the money motivate you and stay on at the post office." And I just could the money couldn't motivate me. All the driving and stuff couldn't. It just did me you know didn't do me good okay so you said did did you sit down with your did you set, sit down with your current husband and just say look I, I i just wanted to go ahead and start driving trucks what what did he what, what did he say if anything or did he or did he just pretty much uh, encourage you he was i sat down and i was like man i'm just like I'm, all this driving i'm doing for the post office you know i could drive trucks and stuff and he was like well if that's what you want to do then do it 
Okay, okay. So I'm like, are you sure? Are you sure? And he's like, sweetie, if that's what you want to do. Go ahead and do it. Okay. Is he still currently? I mean, is is he currently driving, or he's there with your with 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 your kid? Uh, with your kid. He's there with the he's there with the little man. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Playing Mr. Mom. That is that's great for him, man. Um. All right, so now you uh, so now you in the truck and you decided to go with Stevens. What was your experience? What's your experience with him so far? So far, I I haven't had anything bad to happen to me. Um, so far, has been good. They've been wonderful with me. Um, I really don't have any issues with them. You know, I started at as a company driver with them. Um, and now I went to, from a company driver, I went to a lease um, operator. And now I am, um, right now is what they call a hybrid right now because I am in between as a lease operator and a owner operator because I'm buying my first truck. Oh, okay. So you, so what was, so you, you decide to go, how long you was with Stevens before you actually decided to go lease? Uh, 30 days. 30 days? Yep. So what was the, so what was the, okay, I'm I'll just to let you know, I'm not a, I'm not too much particular of a fan of leasing, but, uh, but you, you know, in 30 days, you knew that you wanted to go ahead and go leasing. Why? Um, I decided to go leasing because um, I wanted to be able to take my truck home. I wanted to be able to uh, not be forced on dispatch. If I didn't want to go to New York City, I didn't want them to force me to go. So that was more of that reason than the reason of actually I wanted to learn about what it was to actually be um, like an owner-operator. See what it is to operate an owner truck. Mm-hmm. All what it in details and everything, even though I still had Stevens as my, you know, that, you know, helping me. So as so as a company driver, you you're not able to take the truck home. No. Okay. It's, let me let me see if I can scratch my head <clears throat> on this because you you take your home time up in Virginia, as well as down in Florida. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I. Probably Florida will be like okay because you live close by there, but in Virginia, you're not able to take your truck home in Virginia where you're at. Where you had to park your truck at when you when you up in Virginia? Well, since I am I am a lease operator, um, well, you, I can take my truck to my mom. Oh, okay. Well, uh, but as a company driver, mm-hmm. as I if I was a company driver. I would have to ask Stevens where they want me to park the truck and trailer. See, that's see, that's some of the things that I have, you know, that I that I have people to ask when they call recruiters. You know, that's one of the like kind of like the important thing because like some of you guys, when y'all come into this game, you know, y'all put your vehicles up. Some of you might not even have vehicles. Some of you probably might have a vehicle, but it broke down in the midst of it. And now y'all, you know, y'all use your truck as the vehicle or whatever the case may be. But yeah, when you get, you know, when you go and try to, you know, vet these companies that you're trying to go with. Yeah. The one question you should ask them is if you can take the truck home and if you're able to park the truck wherever you want to park the truck at as long as it's at a safe location because some companies like right. some companies like her company stevens you know they don't want they, they want you to park it at their at at their terminal or park it somewhere where you had to drive you know drive your vehicle there drop your vehicle there go out drive and then come back and then drive your own vehicle home me, I, like I said, I'm a fan. I understand this ain't my, you know, this ain't my vehicle. But I, I am responsible for it, but this ain't my vehicle. But still, I will still want a, you know, I will want a company that, you know, that, hey, I would rather drive my, you know, drive my truck home. And 
And yeah, like I know some companies, I know some companies like uh, Bar None, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or is it Bar None? I'm not sure. You know, I shouldn't even say that. It might not even be Bar None, but I know it was a company that I told them where I was going to park the truck at. And I guess they Google search it or Google image it and saw where I park, you know, where I would park the truck at and they didn't like it. So I had to I had to come around and find somewhere else uh, to park the truck, which is which is kind of hard, you know, for people to do that, though. Um, But but for you. Well, now with the parking, but with the parking, if they actually get like a place that does allow truck parking and they can get with the, the safety director. Mm-hmm. And that's the person who actually approves where they can park the truck and trailer at okay. without any problems. Okay. Right. They just have to be able to talk it over with them and let them approve it. Just don't go park it there. And you know, they don't know where it's at and then they get it towed or whatever, you well, know, yeah. just find out exactly it, where, you know, you know? You know they'll say that they'll, they'll say that, uh, They'll say that um that they don't you know they don't know they they know where they 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 know where the equipment is at. Take my word for it. They yeah. they know they they know where their their uh their equipment is at, man. They you know don't don't let them fool you. Don't let them fool you. Yeah, they're like prime example. I when I go home to Florida, um, I actually there's a drop yard in Florida for us, mm-hmm. and it's like forty five minutes from my house. But uh, what I do is there's a, a tanker company that's five minutes from my house, mm-hmm. and they offer truck parking. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I park my truck and trailer there, and I just pay them, you know, whatever, oh, Okay. whenever I come home and just just park my truck and trailer there. Oh, okay. Okay. So you, so you OTR. So how often do you come, do you, how often do you come home now that you're a lease driver? How often do you, do you come home? Um, I, well, when I was OTR, mm-hmm. cause I'm not OTR anymore. Oh, okay. Um, so when I was OTR, I would stay out three weeks and I would come home for like, uh, anywhere between uh, three and five days. Okay. And then go right back out. All right, so leasing le- leasing with uh with uh with Stevens Transport. How 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 much you pay for the truck a week? Um it varies on your truck. Okay. So my truck that I had uh I was paying 730 a week for my truck. All right. So as so you being so you being a lease operator uh, I I know running and getting the miles, getting the miles needed to keep up, you know, to keep the truck payments up. How do you manage that? Uh, what what do you, what do you do as far as as far as um uh, managing, making money, ma- and and keeping your truck payments and getting your home time? How do you manage all that so that you won't go into the red? Um, normally what I just do, um, we have a business counselor, so Steven mm-hmm. equip us with business counselor. So I will call my business counselor and be like, Hey, you know, what is my break? What is my break? Um, even that I need to be able to run to cover everything. Mm-hmm. And he'll tell me and I was like, okay, you know, this is how many miles I'm trying to run. I'll call my DM, my drive manager and be like, this is how many miles I want to run. And then that would come, that would um, both of them like work hand in hand. I find out what my break even tell them to run me these many miles. So that way I at least got my truck covered. I got money. I can take Oops, home. My fault. My fault. I hit the wrong button. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. So, yeah. So I, you know, run whatever the, the break even is. I know my truck is covered and then whatever is else is left after, you know, after what my DM gives me and what I tell him I need. And then, you know, I know I got a good amount of money going home. Um, home time, I was I was doing home time on the weekend, and then I just realized that was like a little struggle for me, trying to you know get home and and make sure I'm good with my truck. So, uh, 
my business counsel told me change it. Start going home during the week so that way I don't have to struggle so much trying to, you know, make my, my truck payment. And that's what I just did. I switched it up. Okay, okay, okay. That's what's up. So, so how, how has it how has it been how has it been for you? Uh, then you you said you've been with Stevens how long? How how long you been with him all together? Uh, uh, it's September be two years. All right. So ever since uh ever since how has it been for you? Uh, you know yeah have have you been getting good miles? How how much how much Stevens offer OT? I mean, how, how much Stevens offer lease drivers for CPM? Um, it's a dollar. Say what? It's a dollar and I think like a dollar thirty. A do- oh, okay. Because I was about to give you the I was about to give you the buzzer if you said a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, so are you, are you in the process of buying the current truck that you're in right now? Yes. How much? How much longer you got to go before you finish out? Uh, before you finish? Um. Actually, I just got this truck last month, so I have four years on this truck. I just got this truck. All right. My other truck that I was leasing, um, I turned that truck back in. Oh, okay, okay. Because they was they offered me a deal on this truck that I could not walk away from. Oh, okay, okay. So the current, so the current truck right now, they 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 pretty much offer you a deal. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on for a hot second. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. All right, my bad, man. I, I was on the phone. Okay, so what you you saying I need to get some seals? No, I don't have none, but I'm I'm here at the I'm here at the yard. Would it be possible that I can get some from here? Okay, that would be that that. That would be the little the the little hut that's that's where the paperwork and everything that we turned in at, right? Yeah, exactly. Or you can see any workers so on on uh, by any of the docks or anything. Uh, there are any any of the staff there? Uh, you can ask for one from them. They should be able to give you one. Okay. So how many how how many I need? One or two? Okay. All right. Uh all right. Well give me a minute. I'm uh I'm still in I'm still in the back on the phone very quick. Uh I'll be on the phone for maybe about another ten minutes or so. As soon as I get finished as soon as I get finished off the phone, I'll walk around there. What time is the pickup? Uh yeah, we would need to get there as soon as we can, but it should be taken until like three thirty. All right, cool. All right, send me every send everything over to me and I'll get ready to go. All right, where where is it being dropped at, or where is it being delivered to? Uh, it's going to Missouri, North Kansas, actually, a five forty on the mile. All right, cool, awesome. All right, man. Uh, well, give me a couple of minutes, and I'll go ahead and get on top of that for you. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> All right. All right. So. Um, so so you liking uh Stevens transport then you you don't you don't have no problems with them as far as as far as driving for them you you good with the amount that they offered you and and how 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 long is it going to be before you actually own the truck 
I have four years. Oh, four years. So I have a four year. Yeah. All right. So you you good with that? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the terms I came up with them. Four years. They asked me did I want to do a three years or did I want to do four years, and I just took four years. Okay. 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 All right. So, so with all that said, man, uh, being in this, being in this trucking game, I mean, you, you, you've been good with it for, for the last two. What if, if, what if, what would have been a plan B if, if, if you wasn't trucking? What if, if you couldn't get into trucking, what would have been a plan B job for you? Um, I probably still be at the post office uh, complaining. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So what's it like? So being a female, being a female truck driver in this male dominated industry, what what what's the reaction you get when you step up out the truck? When you know you go to like the the rest areas, the shippers, receivers, the the uh, the fuel stations. What's what's the reaction that you get? Um. A lot of eyes, or um, I've had people like I've been places where they be like, "Oh, I was expecting a man to get out of that truck. You driving that truck?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah." You know, there's a lot of eyes, and you know, some people are not, I guess, you know, quite sure that women are actually out here driving trucks. They haven't really seen women driving. And then I might be like the first woman they see driving a truck, and they'd be like, "Really?" And I'd be like, "Yeah, you know, a man can do it; I can do it too. What's the difference?" What do you? How do you feel the industry? How How do you think the industry treats uh, treats women in trucking? Uh, how How do you think they treat you guys? Um, for me. I would say the older people treat us women with respect. They'll try to help us. They'll, you know, try to teach us things. Um, you have some of the younger guys that are in trucking. They don't do that. They'd be more or less gawking at you, trying to holler at you, you know, not really there to try to, you know, help. Have you uh have you have you experienced any negativity yourself in in trucking while you've been doing it for two years? Nope. Okay. So everything pretty much everything pretty much been positive for you. Uh, pretty much. I mean, I had one. I mean, I had my meltdown with one. I ain't gonna say with one truck driver was, but I didn't really fuss at him. I was just more or less yelled out the window and. All the truckers looked at me like, "What was going on?" Because mm -hmm. I just went off. Oh, okay. And then one of the truckers, once I bagged up, he was like, uh, "You took your generation because he was wrong. He was he was in the wrong night, you." <laughs> I was just like, "Yeah, but no." <laughs> <laughs> I get you. I get you. <laughs> All right. So before I let you go, uh, OTR Diva, what what's the next generation of women in trucking going to look like to you? You're going to see more females out here driving. You're going to see more of us owning trucks and owning business. Okay. That's what's up. What, it, what, what advice What advice do you have for the women in trucking that's uh, that's that's deciding to, you know, come into this business? What, what advice do you have for them? Make sure you have a good support system at home because, Trucking can be stressful, but make sure you actually have that good support team at home so that way when you need somebody, you know, to let it all off, you have somebody you can let it all off at and help you do it. Come out here with an open mind, not a closed mind, and, you know, do your thing out here. All right, all right. That's what's up. And you, okay, so last but not least, man, I mean, I, I, I got a lot of, the questions and low time to answer them. But I do want to ask this. The the current state of affairs is going on in the world right now. What was what's your opinion on everything that's going on right now? 
that's going on with the with the, with the situation in trucking, with with the situation that happened up in Minnesota, the situation that happened in ATL. Um, truck drivers are being attacked now. How how do you feel about that? And more so, how do you protect yourself out here? Um. Where I feel, um, I feel like the injustice on on um, black folks is is, is is enough. Enough is enough now. Um, we need people to, you know, stand up for us. As, you know, not only, you know, we stand up, but we need other folks to stand up and realize, you know, enough is enough. That shouldn't happen. That man shouldn't have died for, for everybody to see, you know. Um, and for us as truck drivers, I, we shouldn't be targeted because, you know, People fail to realize that we bring in freight, we haul it to the stores, to wherever it has to go. If you stop us, if we stop, the world stops completely. Um, keep myself safe. I just have a taser in my truck. Because Steven doesn't allow us to carry weapons on our truck um, until the regulations, federal let us do it, mm -hmm. legally do it then I won't have a problem bringing my baby on my truck with mm -hmm. me. I got you. But right now, Stevens and some of the shippers receivers won't allow us to bring it, you know, and, on the You truck. know, it's kind of funny that you that 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 you bring that up because we you know what what is the trucking companies doing to to protect us then? You know what I'm saying? I mean, they see what's going on and they see, you know, the problems that that truck drivers that some truck drivers have. You know, what what are they doing to, you know, to protect us as far as as far as, you know, us not being able to protect ourselves with, you know, with with a weapon of our of our immediate choice. Um, they're not really doing anything really to protect us other than, you know, nothing really. I have to just be honest, there's nothing really they're doing. Hmm. We're protecting the load. Hmm. That's some that's something for that's that's something for the company to think about as we go forward because, you know, it, as they always say, you know, shit gonna get worse before it gets good. So you know, you got truck drivers that's, you know, that's 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 in a minute that's not even going to go in the high in, in the high serious areas, you know. And if they're not if right. they're not going to go in the high serious areas, then what? Then what? You know, you can you can offer them all the money in the world to go up in them areas. But if their safety is compromised, they're not going to do it, you know, unless you unless you. uh curve your 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 policy by letting us you know take you know take control of our own personal safety as far as what we want to you know bring our personal weapon with us or anything of that matter but you know until then i i i don't know i don't know i don't know but you know it is yeah so we're protecting i know for my company we're hold on what'd you say I said, I know for my company, we're trying to protect the loads as much as possible because we don't have loads broken into. So yeah, it is. we're trying. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. Well, OTR Diva, thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it. You, uh, thank you. Where, where, where are you heading to right now? Where, where are you heading to right now? I'm headed to Andover, Massachusetts. All right, all right. Well, you stay safe, safe travels out there, man. And if you guys want to come on and chop it up with me, all you got to do is hit get at I mean get at me at the Gmail, lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com, 
or head over to Instagram like I find majority of these nice truck drivers. Interesting truck drivers. Female truck drivers. That's what's up. That's what's up. Great conversation that you guys can have with me. Instagram at Locked Out Men. Make sure you subscribe to me over there as well. Well, if you guys like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more. You make sure you hit that all button because if you don't hit that all button, you won't get everything. You know what I'm saying? You just won't. You just won't. Again, I am your humble host, Lockout Man. I really do appreciate you guys watching me and listening to me on all the podcast stations. If you guys, uh, if you guys like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit me up. It works in the algorithm. That's what it does. Uh, I want to thank my special guest, OTR Diva, for coming on with me and chopping it up. And with that said, me and OTR Diva, yo, we're done. We're gone. <laughs>